Just leave me alone. Man. I'm gonna bust you up. Damn, stop. Man, I'm warning you. Leave me alone. What you gonna do? Oh. I'm Rock Emerson. This is Mrs. Lambert, Terrence's mother. You mind if she asks you a few questions? That kid Damon is about to go to the penitentiary for killing another kid. Proud that he's following in your footsteps and you're gonna sit here and tell me it's none of your business? I want you to write that boy's mother and you tell her that if you have to spend your entire life begging her to forgive you, then that's what you're gonna do. This is the Grumpy Bob Reviews and I'm your host, Grumpy Bob. Today we're going to take a look at that episode of the Rock Show. Terrence has a gun. The full story. Terrence has a gun. The full story. Mr. and Mrs. Emerson, uh, is it okay if I have a friend over to study this afternoon? Well, yes, but you're gonna have to be very quiet because the baby's sleeping. Oh, look, I got a good idea, Sheila. You and your friend can study upstairs in your room. Just keep the door closed. Yeah, that'll be okay. Come on in. This is Terrence. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Emerson. Oh, hello, Terrence. Oh, uh, uh, Sheila, Sheila, <laughs> on second thought, the light is much better in the kitchen. <laughs> Eleanor, I don't care how sweet he looks. Sheila is too young to have a boyfriend. Oh, Rock, he's not a boyfriend. He's just a friend who happens to be a boy. Hey, what's going on? Well, I'll tell you, Pop, Pop, in the kitchen sits the beginning of lots of trouble for all of us. Oh, all right, son. Roxy, I'll admit Roxy. it. I threw away a bread heel. <laughs> oh, Daddy, Rock just being overprotective because Sheila bought home a friend who happens to be a boy. Eleanor, I know how 12-year-old boys think. I used to be one, you know. <laughs> yeah, he had a crush on this girl, Teresa. Every day she'd walk by the house, he leaned out the window to try to catch her eye. And one day he leaned out so far he fell. <laughs> he landed on the sidewalk on his head. <laughs> he just jumped right back up, ran back into the house, sat down at the dinner table like nothing ever happened. <laughs> that was the day we started calling him Rock. <laughs> yeah, well, those were simpler times, Pop. You know, today these kids grew up too fast. I'll say. With everything these kids are exposed to now, if you take a 12-year-old a day, put him back in my time, he'd be 47. <laughs> I'm just saying, Pop, you know, before we leave Sheila alone with a boy, we should get to know him first. So I'm gonna go get to know him. Oh, well, then I'm coming with you. Why? To give him a ride home when he begged to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Jupiter has 14 moons, and... Come on, you're not paying attention. Who is this? <laughs> Here you are, Sheila. A nice cold bottle of juice. There you go, drink up, it'll cool you off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Terrence. So how did you and Sheila meet? We met in class, health and hygiene. I see. Mm -hmm. They let boys and girls take that together now, huh? You see how they're spending our tax dollars? Oh, Rob. Right. I was doing a report. She asked a lot of questions. Oh, yeah? So what was this report on? How teenagers should be more responsible. It was called The Safest Sex is No Sex. Well, that's certainly the safest choice for you, believe me. <laughs> so, Terrence, what did you say your last name was? Lambert. Lambert? I knew a garbage man named Terrence Lambert. Mm -hmm. He's my grandfather. Oh, will you look at that? It's a small world. <laughs> Terrence small world. Lambert is your grandfather? Whoa! We used to call him Eagle Eye Lambert. He could spot a good perk miles away just from the bulge of the bag. <laughs> perk, that's what he calls him, too. Nothing in this house is new. It's mad cool. Oh, man. I mean, you like perks? Well, then I'll show you perks. Let me tell you about this table you kids are working on. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was two years ago. Valentine's Day, snow up to my chest. I had to dig it out of a snowbank. It was touch and go for a while. Five of the guys were trying to... <laughs> I swear, Mr. Emerson is the cheapest man alive. He makes me rinse out paper towels. <laughs> Oh, here comes Damon and his crew. Looks like that jacket's wearing you down. I think I need to take it off your hands. Step off, Damon. I'm not giving you this jacket. What are you guys doing here anyways? You don't even go to this school. Come on, punk. Just give me what I came for. Forget it, Damon. You, you took my shoes and you took my sweatshirt the week before that. This time you're not getting anything. 
All right, you made your little speech in front of your girl, but I still want that jacket. Damon, stop. Come on, Terrence. Let's go. Now I'll be waiting here until I get it. Well, they're still boys. here. Let's just go the other way. Right? Gang, boys. Gang. Away. Let's make this easy on everybody. So just give me the damn jacket. Just leave me alone. Thank I'm going to bust you up. Damon, stop. Man, I'm warning you. Leave me alone. What you going to do? Uh, uh, back off. Y'all hear me back off. Down on do down on it. Oh, so you want to play that game? Well, it's on now, Chum. It's on. I'm going to blast. You got two last week. You a bitch. You ain't going to blast. Yeah, okay, not the pop. Yeah, yeah okay, not the pop. Shit. <laughs> it worked. How are you out of your mind? Put that thing back in your bag. Sheila had to do something. But you don't pull a gun on a guy like that. He's not just going to take that from you. Well, it's over now. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, my God. Eleanor, hey, look who's here. Sheila and my main man, Terrence. <laughs> we don't have time to hang, Mr. Emerson. We're just going into the kitchen to do our homework. Oh, you got plenty of time for that. Come on, have a seat. Let's talk. Hey, Terrence, I tell you about the time how I got that television. Oh, man, you know me. Your grandfather was with me that oh, time. Oh, hey, kids. How you guys doing, huh? OK. And how did you do on that science test? What's wrong? Nothing. It was just a really hard test. Oh, well, you're both smart kids, and I'm sure you did fine. <laughs> what is yeah. wrong with you two? What's in this? What's in this bag? Oh, my God. What are you doing with this? Whose is this? My. Well, where did you get it? I bought it from this guy who hangs out in the park. Well, what do you need a gun for? It's crazy. A kid like you having a gun? That's what I told. There's this kid at school, Damon, who's pressing up on me all the time. He took my shoes, and now he wants my jacket. No way was I going to let him have it. So you bought a gun to school to stop someone from taking your jacket? Does your parents know about this? No, and please don't tell them. Oh, well, I'm sorry. They're going to have to know. Sheila, you come with me. I'm calling Terrence's house. Terrence, 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 no. Terrence. What are you doing? I thought you were a smart kid. Solving a problem like this with a gun is stupid. You know, there are other ways to deal with it. That's right. Mr. Emerson, it's not like when you were a kid. I can't just duke it out with this guy on the playground. If you want to stand up for yourself today, you got to be strapped. Son? Do you know what you're getting yourself into here? All I know is that Damon is always picking on me. And when I flashed my piece, he was afraid of me for the first time. It felt good. Well, it felt good, huh? Well, let me tell you something, Terrence. I'm going to give you the straight up truth about carrying a gun. Once you have it and you flash it and you see the fear in the other guy's eyes, I mean, that taste of power can seem very sweet, but it can't last because the answer to a gun is a bigger gun. All right. And this guy Damon's gonna be coming after you. Does he run around with a gang? Sort of. Sort of? Well, now his gang is your problem, too. What am I supposed to do? Well, you gotta give up the jacket. Uh, it ain't I worth know. dying for. I, I, I mean, know. what's going on with you kids is insane. Terrence, your father wants to talk to you. Wait a minute, hold on here. You know this kid's Damon's last name and, and where he lives? Yeah, Evers. He lives on Smallwood Street. Eleanor, I'm going to go by this kid Damon's house and talk to his parents. I'm also going to talk to the principal of that school. And everybody's going to sit down together and try to figure something out, you know? Because I promise you, these other kids have guns, too, uh -huh. you know? And we better get them out of their hands before somebody gets shot. Don't you worry, sweetheart. We're going to take care of this. Very sad. Very sad. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, hey, baby, so how did it go over there at that Damon's house? Mm. Oh, I talked to his mother, you know? I mean, that poor woman's got her hands full. You know, there's no father in the house, you know? And she's got four other kids she's trying to feed and keep straight, you know? She hasn't seen Damon in two days. Oh, Rock, that figures. There are so many single mothers out there with this very same problem. Oh, no, I, I don't know how they do it. I mean, it's hard enough living in this world with two parents. Mm. Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Emerson. Terrence is outside. There's something he wants to say to you. May he come in? Well, of course he can. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Come on in. Hello, Terrence. Hello. I didn't know whether I was welcome after what happened. Well, you're always welcome in this house, son. 
What do you have to say? I'm sorry about bringing that gun into your home. It was real stupid. Stupid? No, tracking dirt into the house is stupid. Bringing a gun is madness. I don't know what you kids today think you're doing. Well, I'm not doing it anymore. I thought about what you said, and you were right. Oh, it's good that you recognize that now, son. Yeah, and thank God you got to the principal and those other boys' parents and got them involved. Maybe now we can cool this situation out enough to make that school a little bit safer. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not messing with guns anymore. Well, that's the wisest choice. Now, if it's OK with you, we're going to go into the kitchen and do our history homework. Okay. But first, I was going to run down to the corner and get us some ice cream. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. And to show you that there's no hard feelings, the ice cream on rock. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a dollar. Bring back my change. <laughs> oh, Rock, the boy's gonna need more than a dollar. Oh, well, you know, not if you get one scoop and you bring your own cone. In fact, I think we got some cones in the cupboard. Rock, get that boy more. Oh, right. <laughs> Here's another dollar. <laughs> Bring the change back to me. <laughs> Thanks. Don't worry, I'll get you a good deal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess he's basically a good kid. All those kids are good kids. They just need a little guidance. <laughs> Projectiles came through the window. Will this? Oh, Pop. Pop, get an ambulance! Get an ambulance! Well, it came through the window. Oh. I'm sorry, but he, he didn't make it. He wasn't my friend. I know. I know. Oh, hey, Evelyn. Hi, Rock. Hey, everybody. It's Terrence Lambert's mom, hey, Evelyn. Evelyn, how you doing? Hey, in there. It was hard coming here. It's hard standing on the steps where Terrence was shot. Mm -hmm. But I had to come and tell you, they've charged Damon Evans with Terrence's murder. Oh, thank oh, God. That's good. Thank that's good. God. That's good. Rock, hmm? do you think you can get me in there to see Damon? Uh. I just got to know why he killed my, my boy. Please. Uh. 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 Damon? I'm Rock Emerson. This is Mrs. Lambert, Terrence's mother. You mind if she asks you a few questions? She can ask me anything she wants. She told me I'm going to tell her nothing. Yeah. Young folk, young, young, young folk. No respect, no respect. in the schoolyard. Did you know Terrence? No, no respect for life. He was such a sensitive kid. Oh, he never left for school without giving me a hug and a kiss. One day he forgot. He was halfway to school and he ran all the way back home. And he said, I know I'm going to be late for school, Mama. But I forgot your hug and kiss. Now because of you, he's gone. Mm. Sad. And you sitting up there. It's hard. This is hard. This like is hard. Like you don't give a damn about my boy being dead. I don't understand. I lost my son because of a a jacket. Jacking my ass. I got him back for putting that gun on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I don't care about doing no time. Ain't no big thing, no way. 
Ain't like I kill no white boy. So what if I get 10 years? Mm. I only be 25 when I get out. It's just like what Andre Thompson said. You can't have no room in your heart for no remorse. So I'm gonna be like Andre. I'm gonna be like Andre. Andre Thompson. You wanna be like Andre. So those are your items, huh? Drug dealers? Yes, you ain't nobody like you. Andre, you gotta do this. Look, I told you. Rock the one. Step to Andre. To talk to nobody. Step right to it's none of my business, man. It is your business, Andre. That boy worships you. Who do you think is gonna come here and straighten this out? You think Martin Luther King and Malcolm X are going to come back and get these kids to stop killing each other? That's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen when guys like you start to tell the truth. Andre, guys like you can do more than any movie, any television show, or any politician to get these kids to understand that life is a precious thing. That's right. That kid, Damon, is about to go to the penitentiary for killing another kid, proud that he's following in your footsteps, and you're going to sit here and tell me it's none of your business? Uh. Andre and No Rock don't be playing. This, 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 this team don't play. They already shot him. Team shot. This team shot Andre. Sad. It's sad. All is sad. Hey, Andre, what's up? What you doing here? You ain't gotta worry about me. You know I can do 10 years day for day standing on my head. Uh. <laughs> I hear you. Sad. You're gonna do 10 years, day for day, in somebody's arms? You little punk sissy. What you know about the penitentiary? You ever been in jail before? You know the do's and don'ts of making it in the penitentiary? Mm. I didn't think so. Let me tell you something. You won't last 10 days in here. What you gonna do, take your little gun with you when they put you in a cell with a grown man? A real killer. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's been in about 15 years already and is doing life and don't give a damn about nothing or nobody. What you gonna do when he grabs you? Can you fight without that gun, you little punk? What you gonna do mm -hmm. when you start screaming for the guards and the guards don't come? Mm -hmm. You can't call for your mama in a penitentiary. And let me tell you something else. After he finishes with you, mm. he's gonna pass you around to all of his buddies. Then what you gonna do, you little sissy punk? Hey. Yeah. I just put it on. I just put it on. So you got Pop. a big kick out of the most sissified cowardly way to take somebody out, a drive-by shooting, where all kinds of innocent people get shot. So if you want to be like me, you can't. Because the difference is, I'm a man, and you just a little punk. Do you know what it's like being me? I spent the best years of my life in the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. I wasted my whole youth just like you're about to do. Mm. Do you know how many times I've been shot? Mm. I got a hole in my lung right now, and I walk with a cane. Cow shot him. Cow shot Do you know how it feels to wake up every morning not knowing whether one of your enemies or your friends is going to put a bullet in the back of your head? You know how that feels? No, you don't really want to be like me because you ain't got the heart. And since I know you ain't got the heart, I'm gonna help you out, boy. Mm. Now this is what you're gonna have to do. First thing, I want you to ask the man to put you in protective custody. Mm. Then mm. I want you to pick up a Bible and some school books and get yourself a damn education while you're in here. And then I want you to write the judge once a month and let him know how you're progressing in the right direction. You understand that? And when you find it in your heart, I want you to write that boy's mother and you tell her 
that if you have to spend your entire life begging her to forgive you, then that's what you're gonna do. Mm. That's your only chance for surviving it here for 10 years. Now get out of my face. Oh, dang. That was serious. That was serious. That was very, very serious. That, that was serious. That was serious. Terrence has got a gun, the full story. Charles Dutton, Clifton Powell, Rock versus Andre. Dynamic duo of black actors. That was good. That was the hell of a job they did right there. A review. They got an A on the review. For the next time, this is Grumpy Bob, Grumpy Bob Review. See you later.